Each one of us can change the world. How? By simply doing what Jesus calls us to do, loving our neighbor. Not the metaphorical one, but the one right next door. Join us with our monthly challenge. Hi friend, I hope you're doing super super well. So, in the olden days, bordering and bartering was actually a way to survive. Because um, in a village or an area you grew up in, most people didn't produce all products, right? They didn't make everything. So you would bring your product to the table, whatever you made, like if it may be you grow um, a certain vegetable and your neighbor grows potatoes. And you're gonna start bartering and talking about, hey, I'll give you five carrots and you're gonna give me two potatoes. Um, that was very, very common in the olden days um, to yeah, share with each other that way. Or if you needed a certain tool, like in the countryside it was often used, like, and you didn't have it, you could borrow it from a neighbor. And the other way around, like if it was a farm tool or a garden tool or whatever. And, you know, why don't we bring that back? So this month, Love Your Neighbor Challenge is to borrow and barter with your neighbors. So if you're missing something in your house, like let's say, you don't have a waffle iron or you, I don't know, you need a screwdriver or whatever. Why instead of running to the store and buying it, why don't you walk over to your neighbor and ask if you could borrow it? Or if you, you know, like cook a meal and you realize, oh, I don't have milk. Why don't you go over to a neighbor and say like, hey, you know, I am out of milk. Could I borrow some milk or could I barter with you and give you something else for it, like, I don't know, a piece of cake or whatever, and bless the neighbor in that way. It builds a stronger community, it builds a bigger connection with each other, and it's such a huge blessing. So, this month, borrow something and barter with your neighbors. Bye.